Example 2.6, uh, section 2.3.2. Um, so this is um, the sphere with charge, uniform surface charge. Uh, we've probably seen this problem so many times. We're going to see it several times again. The, the um, radius of this sphere is, is capital R. And the, um, we're going to find the potential at a point P, which is a distance R, small r from the center of the sphere. And we're gonna use the reference point um, O set to infinity. So um, the easiest way to solve this problem is to just solve the integral. Um, so we have the electric field here, which is one over four pi epsilon naught Q over R squared in the r-hat direction. We've solved this problem so many times that uh, if you're surprised that a sphere with, with surface charge has the same f uh, electric field as a, as a point, then um, you, should, you haven't been paying attention. So. Uh, so the field inside the sphere is zero, obviously. Um, so this is outside. And E vector equals to zero inside. Um, so to calculate the, the potential at a point P outside the sphere, all we do is we just take the integral. We go, so V at R is equal to the minus the integral of E vector dot DL vector. And we're going to start at infinity. And then we're going to go to the point R. And so solving for that um, is rather trivial. So we get minus integral minus infinity to r of 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. And then e dot dl, well, it's, it's just r hat um, dot the r hat component of dl, which doesn't have any factors like the theta or the phi components do. So it's just a q over r prime squared r prime hat oh, no, dr prime. And so obviously the integral for this is just one uh, negative one over r. So we get one over four pi epsilon naught q over r. This is for r is greater than r. That was rather easy um, to find the the, elect the electric potential inside the sphere. We just go like this minus the integral from infinity to some point r inside the sphere where r is less than r and that's e vector dot dl vector and we have to break this up into two different integrals um, one for coming up to the sphere and the other from uh, inside the sphere where the electric field is zero so that is uh, from infinity to the point r of e vector dot dl vector outside oh, i got a minus sign in there somewhere and the other is going from r to the point r we're looking at on the inside of the sphere, e vector dot dl vector. Well, inside the sphere, the vector is zero. So that's going to be zero. And outside the sphere, we've already calculated this one, uh, except for we're setting r to capital R. So this is just equal to one over four pi epsilon naught q over r squared. And that's it. So we basically solve the um, potential for every point in space around the sphere. Um, you might be a little bit surprised that the potential inside the sphere is not zero, even though the field is. And that's actually really easy to explain is um, because if you imagine you had some mountain like this, you know, even though at the top it's flat of this mountain, there's no gradient, you know, which is what the electric field is the gradient of the potential even though there's no gradient at that point, there still is quite a bit of difference from down here and up here in terms of uh, potential. So that shouldn't surprise you. This is basically what this looks like in three dimensions. Um, of course, if it were smaller, it'd go up higher because, you know, whatever. So it's just lopped off at the top there. Hope you had fun. Bye.